Hey y'all, Chavelli here, back with another vlog. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, first things first, big news. Well, not big news, but I hit Plat 3, finally, after three uh, three promo series. Uh, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, again, that's not very high. That's just another league. I mean, the difference between Plat 5 and Plat 3, maybe not that big, but uh, I did it playing mid, which I just switched to recently, so I'm still proud of myself, but I know I have a long way to go. Um, uh, that's partly, what's well, that's another thing that I'm feeling right now, like, getting to plat 3 has felt doable, but, you know, the more I play and the more I see how I play, diamond seems further and further away, even though, uh, even though I'm actually, you know, moving up, and that's part, I guess that's part of getting better, you know, at a certain point, you get better at something but getting better just means that now you know how bad you are at it you know so i'm still pretty confident going in against most people i'm still pretty confident uh when i'm laning i'm still pretty confident but i am i do feel like i'm missing something between laning and ending the game like sometimes sometimes it's easy you know sometimes you dominate your lane opponent and then you go on you just group mid you air them whatever and the game and you win the game you know you just go from tower to tower go from objective to objective and you win sometimes you know sometimes your teammates are also doing well so there isn't there's not a whole lot of critical thinking going on you, you're just doing you know does that make sense that's partly how i feel when i win I'll be like, oh yeah, I, I laned well, I moved here, I moved around. Even reviewing my games, I'm like, oh, I did this, this, this. But it's a lot. I, I might not be in the moment when I'm playing, but looking back, I don't. It doesn't seem like I'm being very active about winning. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to really explain that, but that's where I am right now. I think I can keep going. You know. Uh, you know, time permitting, I could get close to diamond. I, I feel like it's doable. You know, I don't want to rely on luck, but luck wise, I can do it. Pure skill wise, I don't know. I, 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 I um, it's not a lack of confidence because I still, like I said before, I, I feel like I'm playing well, but there's something missing. There's a piece there between, you know, between. <laughs> I'm just repeating myself between. Laning and ending the game. There's something I'm missing that maybe it'll come from more games, maybe uh, more practice, something like that. But there's definitely something there that I need to do that I'm not doing that I will figure out. Which, that I need to figure out in order to climb. Outside of that, uh, I don't think... The way I'm playing now, I don't think it'll get me there. There's something else I have to figure out, and I need to figure it out. And... Hopefully I have enough time. I think there's like about a month and change left before the season ends, if I'm correct. I can't remember if it ends in October or November. Last season it ended earlier, right? I can't I can't recall. And this season started earlier, so I imagine it's sooner rather than later. But uh, that's where we are. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to play. Uh, have some free time. And I'm going to keep at it. Bam. Uh, a little bit of ranked anxiety. I think I think because I'm getting to that point where I don't know if I deserve to be there. I think that's my own, I mean, I just said I had confidence, but that might be my own lack of confidence. Because it's like, oh, if I keep playing, I'll lose, and then I'll, uh, I'll get demoted. You know, that's, that's giving, that's the part that's giving me a bit of anxiety. But, you know, maybe it's not warranted, maybe it is. I don't really think it is. It's just a block in my own mind, but that's where we are. I also wanted to touch on something I t talked in the last video. I said spoke about it in the last video, where I said it's hard to get better playing against people your level. You know, I had a buddy of mine mention, uh, ask me why I think that isn't that how everything is done, right? Because that's how that's how everyone plays, right? But I I I don't think so. I think for the most part. If you play the game without much uh, critical thinking, you'll reach a certain point where it's just how good you are at games, I think, in my opinion. So, 
Imagine you never met a game, you never read another, you never read a guide, you never read the patch notes, you never watch streams, nothing. You just play the game like it's any other game. You know, you just queue up, pick your champs, and bam. Some people, just because they're good at games, they'll they'll get pretty far. You know, I had one buddy who didn't meta game at all. In, like I think he peaked around like mid gold, which is you know not not amazing, but that's above average, right? Or yeah, I think that's above average. And that's without stream. That's without watching streams. That's without watching guys. That's without watching anything. Without any meta gaming, he's just played the game over and over, and he got there, which um, is not as rare as you think. You know, uh, I know. Uh, I want to say another buddy got to maybe high plat almost the same way. You know, because they're just they played StarCraft, they played other all these other games. You know, uh, I don't know if it can be done specifically. I don't know. I don't want to. I was gonna say it can't be done now, but it probably could be done now. I'm sure there's people out there who are pretty high who never really give the game a second thought. They just play the game like any other game. Um, and I think some people are, you know peak lower than that. You know, some people who never met a game they peak pretty low, and they'll just keep crashing you know they just keep butting heads with their opponent over and over they keep queuing they keep winning they keep losing they keep winning they keep losing and that's the game for them you know and if they never think too critically they really never get better it's never they never actively get better you know because you never like i said before you never uh think about your own mistakes in that way you know because if you're, let's say, a bronze player, a low bronze player, and you're playing against, you know, a high gold player, um, it'll be, it'll seem like you just get smoked, right? Because a low bronze player is probably missing out on a lot of very basic things. Like I've, like, oh, that's another problem when trying to get better. Because when you're really low, someone can tell you, oh, just do X a little better, and you'll climb. And that works a lot of the time. But your opponent never, if you're a bronze playing against another bronze, your opponent never does these things. So you'll never see anyone being better, so you can't play that much better. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. It's, you know, this is something I believe, I read, I think, uh, deliberate practice as a, you know, as a practice touches on this it uh, touches on this it says it's something like at a certain point you have to challenge yourself to do it better you know it doesn't matter what you're doing piano violin league starcraft chess at a certain point you have to actively take a big step you know and you'll fail probably you know <laughs> but in that failure is where you learn you know so that's when you apply it to where you are and that brings you a little bit closer you know and that's and that's what I meant in the other video I hope that makes sense I feel like I ramble on a bit but I hope that makes sense uh, at the moment you know I mentioned that my normals are pretty high MMR but it's not as high as I want it to be so I'm sort of stuck in this rut which is why I do these videos, this is why I, I try to review, this is why I, I record myself, this is all these other things, because I want, if I can't actively set, put myself on another level, I want to actively, you know, inch along at my level, you know, which is, it's hard to do, I've spoken why it's hard to pl get better at League of Legends, um, but, it, most important than anything, you know, more important than who you're playing against, more important than whatever else is going on, is to be an active participant in your own improvement. You know, improving doesn't happen on its own, you know? Um, you can be as good as, you know, as you are, but to get better than that, you have to try. You have to be conscious about everything you're making, everything you're doing, about the decisions you're making, and it has to be, it has to come from you. It doesn't come fall out the sky. You have to move it all along that's where i am that's what i want to focus on that's what um uh, that's what's difficult i guess you know when i started playing i was lucky to have 
a high diamond friend who had, you know, high elo friends who I played with. So right from the very beginning, I learned League of Legends meta right and wrong pretty quickly, you know. And even after all that, I still placed in bronze with my first, with my first placements, I think, yeah. I think this season, season three, I think I placed in bronze. I might have ended up in gold, but... Uh, and from the beginning, I've always been very into metagaming. I feel like a lot of this, like a lot of my early success was just because I knew a little bit more than my opponents might have. You know, from the very beginning, I placed a lot of importance on objectives and minions and towers and all that. I never, I was never really like a Rambo Call of Duty style player. And very early on, I mained ADC, which I think low reload players they try to play a little everything, but I had the the forethought to just stick to X and to play that till I as far as I could and and I did all right I did all right but I when I I did feel I peaked and I never really pushed myself beyond that peak I always felt I was at least this good and I stayed there and now I'm trying to break out of that you know because I know I'm at least high plat mid so how do I make that jump you know and that's where I am. All right, this has been a real rambly vlog. Um, this week, this weekend, actually, I'm going to play a big part of my day. I'm going to devote to League. A big part of my weekend, I'm going to devote to playing League. I'm going to see where I end up. I'm going to try my hardest. I will hopefully have another vlog with good news soon. Uh, I'll keep reviewing my... Oh, I'm, I've been re-watching some of mine. Not, not reviewing, I've just been re-watching my own play. And even the difference between now and a couple months ago, it's it's downright cringy. Like, ugh. I have I actually have some videos from when I first started playing on my other YouTube channel, and that's just embarrassing. Like, uh, like the difference, um, it's it's big. But hopefully, you know, I'm gonna keep improving. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna keep, and I'll have at least plat two this weekend. And that puts me right at the cusp of Diamond 5. I mean, that's, 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 that's the hope. Anyway, long story short, GG's. Thanks for watching.